And welcome back to The Factor on Censored. The CDC is investigating a brand of recalled eye drops after dozens of infections caused death and blindness. The Ezra Care and Dalsum Farmers artificial tear products were recalled over a potential bacterial contamination. Check your cabinets if you have those. There are at least 68 cases of severe injuries here in the United States, in 16 states to be specific. Three people who used the products died, died, eight lost their vision, Four had to have their eyeballs removed. Dr. Donna Jali with Arch Point Pain Institute has more. Tell us exactly what's going on with these artificial tears. I say these are tears that eye drops that folks often use when they have dry eyes or redness in their eyes or after some sort of a procedure in their eyes, the optometrists uh, tell them to use these eye drops. And recently, we've seen an increase in multiple states of infections as well as uh, infections in the eyeball and uh, spreading into the bloodstream in multiple folks. Uh, to, today, uh, we've seen article up to reporting three deaths that we've seen so far uh, in this uh, country here uh, of folks that have gotten infected and what that infection is is Pseudomonas aeruginosa. This is an infection that we've seen in the bladder and in the lungs. However, because this uh, bottle, this um, eye drops is not uh, appropriately sterile and clean um, as, as it comes from the manufacturer, it has resulted in these infections that we've seen so far. And Dr. Ali, this gets really gruesome. We're talking about individuals who've had to have their eyeballs removed. That's correct, Isaiah. What happens is that, that this infection, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, is very difficult to treat with antibiotics. And in order to spread, uh, prevent it from spreading into other parts of the body, the doctors go ahead and remove the eyeballs so that way it does not spread to other areas and cause even more complications like the deaths uh, numbers that we've seen so far. Now, the CDC, uh, I think, recalled this back in February. It's damn near the end of March. Why are we still hearing about this? Or, or, or are we just seeing medically or hearing medically what's occurring now? This is the long run and it could get worse. I think there, we're gonna see some numbers uh, increasing in the coming days because as I said, some of these folks have been hospitalized uh, for a while. Some of them may not even know that they were utilizing this specific brand. And again, there's multiple brands out there and CDC has published a link, a website that has those. Uh, but right now it's the Esri Care that we've talked about, the Purely Soothing and Del Sam are all three of them that so far they've uh, put on their radar. Uh, again, there are other ones as well, so you want to go on the website, make, be very cautious of any sort of eye drops that you're using. And the best thing that you can do, especially if it's something that you are using right now, is to use the single vial ones, right? These infections have occurred in the multi-dose ones where you use it for multiple times. There are single dose vials that you can get, Isaiah, and those ones uh, are a little bit, a lot safer currently um, than using those multi dose vials. Now, are, are we talking about an eye drop that's over the counter or a prescription or it's both? So, so far, it's been mainly the over the counter ones. However, I just recently read up today there are some that have recalled uh, some of the prescription grade ones that are uh, utilized for glaucoma uh, and so in cataracts. And so that's why it's important to talk to your optometrist, talk to your doctor, uh, and see, make sure that that's not on the list of medications or eye drops that you want to uh, prevent taking. And once again, what would be your best advice to someone who even may get it over the counter or prescription uh, and they, their medication may not be on this list? What advice would you give them right now if they're into using artificial tears? Great question, Isaiah. So a few things. Number one, make sure you're practicing clean hygiene. So wash your hands to prevent any sort of bacteria. Make sure you do not touch the tip of the bottle, right? So that tip of the bottle is what goes close to your eye, and you want to make sure that you don't touch that. And number three, you want to try to avoid having any sort of contact with your eye um, and rubbing your eye as well. 
Those are three things that you can do from a bacterial standpoint. The other thing that we mentioned earlier was, Isaiah, to use single-dose vials that are non-preservative. These are the little vials that you can get. You get a pack of 20 or 30, and you take one off, use it one time, throw it away, and then you use a new bottle the next time. 